concerned about what we have seen from American presidential candidates than the reaction that we've seen from uh, President Putin with all this, because they're the ones who are egging this on, saying that, pretending that this doesn't exist in the form that it does, but then offering us very dangerous prescriptions, as Ben Carson said, we're going to have to domestically, we're going to have to really ramp up the TSA. We're going to have to make sure the FBI has 24-7 surveillance on everybody. That's his prescription. And we're going to get more of that. We're going to get no-fly zones in the face of the Russians to trigger a, a real event between uh, the U.S. and Russia that could trigger at some point in time World War III. That's, I think, the real danger, ignoring the cause of this and then offering these authoritarian empire-building prescriptions that are so detached from reality. Well, that's one thing I'm very disturbed about. Even, you know, people like Ted Cruz, who has got a legitimate conservative background going back decades, still has bought into the neocon agenda, unawares that it is a, a globalist agenda, that this is a phony war on terror. Yes. And it seems like the Republicans have to be, have to show who's going to be the strongest to stand up in the face of terror in there. Hey, hang on, hang on, Joel. We got to take a quick break, and when we come back, let's talk about the levels of support as well as uh, what's going on. Let's break this down for people because we can stop this if we break this down. We'll be right back with Joel Skousen. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Welcome back. We're talking to Joel Skousen about the shooting of the Russian jet over supposedly Turkey, although that's not clear whether it was in Turkish airspace or uh, Syrian airspace. We want to break down really what's going on. And this is very important because I believe we can really turn this back, Joel. I think we did in 2013 when they had the sarin gas attack. We were told by the U.S. media and by the U.S. government that that could have only come from the Syrian government. And nevertheless, as time went on and we talked about how this could possibly be a false flag, uh, we started exposing this, even though the mainstream political candidates, mainstream press would not touch this, we eventually were able to say that, look, this could have come and possibly did come uh, from the rebel forces that were there. We even had the U.S. military eventually weigh in on that and, and talk about that. So we turned that back once before. I think we can, again, if we expose this. Talk to us about the uh, long-term interests of the U.S. and the globalists, why they're there. It really has to do with Iran. And that's what your listeners really have to understand. The U.S., as a globalist agenda, was out to take down Iran starting in 2004, and Israel has been, had been tasked to do that, to initiate the attack. 
Uh, Iran was expected then to retaliate against U.S. forces in the area, and that would then bring the U.S. into it. They didn't intend to occupy Iran, but they did intend to obliterate its military uh, infrastructure. What's the reason? Iran is the only Muslim country that is actively attempting to be totally self-sufficient, building their own weapon systems, and the globalists can't allow that. They've always wanted the Arabs and the Muslims to be uh, cannon fodder ever since World War II, Lawrence of Arabia, all the betrayal of the Arab promises that they made. They want the Arabs controlled and the Muslims controlled. And so that's the main target that Israel, about three years ago, said to the U.S., look, we don't want to touch Iran until you get rid of Syria first, because Syria's got all this retaliatory missile capacity. And that's why the U.S. started to conjure up a no-fly zone like in Libya. It wasn't a real true no-fly zone. It was a cover, as it was in Libya, for uh, cruise missiles going in, for special forces going in to accelerate and take down a nation. Uh, but as I said previously on the show, that got waylaid by a, a mistaken remark, an offhanded remark by Kerry to London press conference when a reporter said, hey, is there any way that Syria can avoid this obvious attack? And Kerry just offhandedly said, yeah, they could give up their campaign of weapons and we wouldn't attack. And when Syria said, we accept, and Russia said, we accept on behalf of Syria. And so... Kerry must have really got a scolding when he got off the stage. You know, you fool, you just ruined our agenda. And uh, that's why the U.S. and British intelligence had to create ISIS as an excuse for two reasons, not only to get back into Syria, and, 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 uh, but also to gin up the war on terror, to revitalize the war on terror. Everybody was getting tired of everyone claiming to be al-Qaeda. And, and never winning the war on terror. So they wanted a bigger, badder enemy, and that's what Al-Qaeda or uh, ISIS became. Actually, what they did is simply go to about half of the rebels that they'd been training in Syria and said, okay, you're now ISIS. It was a name change, mm -hmm. just like the mm -hmm. name change to Free Syrian Army or the Syrian Democratic Army that just was formed two weeks ago. These are just name changes. This is not real. It's the CIA's yeah. corporate merger, a company merger, right? Amongst exactly. these different forces, yeah. But you know, think about it. If Muslims were really trying to create a world caliphate, I mean, every single video that they've created has no other purpose but to create horror and revulsion against themselves. I mean, that's no way to start a Muslim caliphate. That's no way to rule the world, and everybody knows it. This is simply a propaganda film uh, series, uh, too high of video quality, by the way, for true terrorists. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, every one of these video confessions, whether it's the Paris attacks or all of the beheadings, every one of them comes through a government-connected website called Site, run by Rita Katz, an Israeli citizen. Mm -hmm. and, and it's clear. I mean, why would the terrorists, knowing what NSA powers are to track, try to contact a government-connected site to make all of their confessions? It's just <laughs> it's unexplainable, except for the fact that these are operatives yes. working for U.S. and British intelligence. Yes. And, and we know when we look at the different groups that have been brought in here, I mean, there was a, there was a uh, New York Times article where they talked to one of the ISIS commanders, and he pointed out that he had been fighting the Russians in Chechnya as a surrogate for the CIA, and the CIA brought him into that area. I mean, it's an open secret. We see this so many times. We have the videos of the resupplies and, and, and dropping resupplies as they're fighting. So many different ways that we see this, and yet it's difficult to get the American public to really understand what's going on with this, just as it's difficult to get them to understand that there is a, um, uh, there's, the Arab uh, community is not this monolithic uh, entity any more than Islam is. So you've got these fighting factions of Islam who are fighting for control, and you've got different Arab groups, you've got different nation states. And I think it's very important for people to understand how involved uh, the Saudis are with the CIA, how involved they are uh, in this particular war. I think it's very interesting and, and telling, Joel, that we don't hear anything about what the Saudis are doing in Yemen. We don't hear any calls for relocating refugees from that area because there can't be any con condemnation of Saudi Arabia's actions in invading Yemen. In fact, Saudi Arabia is doing very poorly. They haven't been able yes. to beat Yemen yet. Yes. And they've suffered some major defeats. Yes. It's also very telling that Israel, nor Saudis, nor the Bahrainis, nor the Qataris have received any attacks from ISIS. This yes. is very clear indication that these people are viewed by ISIS as our benefactors. We don't attack our benefactors. Turkey has not received any attacks from ISIS. 
Yes. Only a two-way street and exchange of, uh, of money, arms, and oil supplies. And so, as you look at the map, you can see that ISIS looks like paint spilling out and melting down from northern Turkey down into Syria. I mean, it, it, very easy, it, it looks like an invasion coming from Syria if you look at the areas that they control. And of course, they're dripping down and controlling uh, the other enemy of the Turks, and that is the, uh, the Kurds, Kurds there. Yeah. Let, let me just go through the big picture, though, so that we can understand this. First of all, the globalist agenda in the Middle East is to take down Iran and all of its surrogates so that U.S. puppets uh, controlled mostly by Israelis. And by the way, the Israelis are very much involved with this uh, U.S. intelligence effort to create ISIS. Yes. They use Arab Israelis, some of the best trained spies in the world, by the Mossad to infiltrate and become leaders of most of these terrorist outfits. And that's how the command system works from U.S. and British intelligence to the Israeli Mossad to the uh, terrorist leaders. The individual terrorists don't know that their outfit is being run by the United States. But yes. they do get warning before every one of these U.S. attacks, if it's on a building, clear out the building so the building is empty when it's attacked. If it's a training camp, the training camp is empty by the time it's attacked. And so you'll notice the French, the day after the Paris attacks, got all of their targeting from U.S. Uh, sources, so they were basically an extension of the phony war on terror by the United States. Yes, it's absolutely amazing. Even from the very first pictures that we had as they were rolling out the new brand of ISIS and we saw them on the Toyota Hilux trucks. And uh, I can remember Alex said here, why aren't they attacking them? I mean, could have taken them all out with, with one A-10. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. And thank you so much for joining us, Joel Skousen. Uh, we really have to fight this. We really have to understand what the big picture is here or we are going to absolutely be helpless we are going to see this used to take away every last bit of freedom that we have in this country. Thank you so much, Joel. Thank you, David. It is very important to restate what we began this broadcast with. And that is a simple statement, as Matt Drudge put out. Well, by the way, America has been arming ISIS for some time now. We need to understand that. We need to understand that Turkey has been funding ISIS by buying massive quantities of their oil, millions of dollars a day worth of oil from ISIS. If we don't understand that ISIS itself is a false flag like 9-11, then we are going to subject ourselves to the fear, the uncertainty that is going to be used to further subjugate us, to further destroy the rule of law and our rights as individuals. We will have a much broader, much deeper police state, just as Ben Carson was bragging about. That's his prescription. Of course it's his prescription. He's being put up and promoted, just like Carly Fiorina, they're being put out there and promoted by Fox News because they tow the military industrial complex party line even stronger than Fox News does. So they put them out there, even if they don't have a chance to win, they hope that they will move the debate in that direction. And of course they have. All of the GOP candidates, except for Rand Paul, and including Hillary Clinton, are all pushing for the fact that we have to go into this war. Well, that's it for tonight's news. Stay with us and track this as it develops. We've been telling you this for a long time. If you want to support our operation, please become a subscriber to Prison Planet TV. Your subscription, and you can do that for slightly over $5 a month just to try it out. Uh, if you want to get it for an entire year, that's less than $5 a month, but it helps to support our operation. Well, again, join us again tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep. Knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. The InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.